In this video, I'm going to show you something that is super important when you work with time series databases and it literally costs me four hours to figure this out because I was stupid and I would don't want you to make the same mistake as I did. So let's look into it. So what I did is for my new course, I'm using InfluxDB to actually process data, uh, time series data. And I thought, okay, let's start first with a file. We're processing a file and putting it into InfluxDB. And then I'm going to take data from an API and push it into InfluxDB, just with a simple Python producer. The first part is what you see here, uh, worked really, really good. It's some weather data. Uh, here I show some temperatures. Uh, very was very nice. And then I would use the API. And this is where I got problems. The important part is whenever you process data with a, a time series database is the timestamp is actually the key. And the timestamp has also usually the time zone in it, or you need a time zone for it. What a lot of databases do is actually they are storing the data in UTC time or GMT as we call it here in Europe. And then um, you, at the end, you say basically, okay, I'm having here, I, I'm in the GMT two plus a uh, plus two version. I'm in the GMT plus two uh, time zone converted to my time zone. So I tried to write this and I tried to use the weather API and I used this API. So there is a weather API at weatherapi.com. And what this thing returns me in the real time API is actually it, it returns me last updated and last updated epoch, which are basically timestamps for this. So uh, I wanted to use this. The epoch is just the, uh, the Unix time from, I think it's 1970 and the last updated, this is a real timestamp. So the problem with this, and this is what costs me four hours, is that this returns data in local time. Local. So if I request this here for Berlin, this will re this will return uh, Berlin and will return this as GMT plus two. Now, here's where the problem comes. So here, this is a timestamp below here. This is an epoch. And this could be a local time. This is just the epoch. And now then I convert it into uh, a timestamp. So this is the time, the second part here. This is just the timestamp from the epoch. 7, 19, uh, uh, 21st of September. So when you then convert this into UTC time, I just added here in my, in my script, I just added a Z here below so then this or uh, after it then this is utc time and i was writing this into utc time so i was writing i was getting the local data gmt2 data gmt2 plus 2 data i was writing it as utc time so what was what was happening was that basically my my 719 utc that i write here that i have Whenever I write this into the database at UTC here, it will automatically, because if I am in GMT plus two, make nine out of it. Like it, it turns 719 into a 919, right? So because I was taking my, my local time and I was storing my local time as UTC, it was as if I would take my uh, local time and I, would do it plus four. So I was sitting here in UTC in GMT plus two. I was writing the data, the local time data into UTC. And basically what it does is, so it interprets here my seven. I took the seven here and then it was basically taking the seven and creating a nine out of this. But I was in the seven zone here. So this is two hours ahead of me, right? And that's the problem because I could never see it. It would be the, because the nine would actually be here. So it was like I was writing the data two hours ahead of me and I could never see it because 
As I said, I'm taking, I took the local time and I stored it as UTC. Then this generated nine out of it. Uh, but I was in the seven zone, so I couldn't ever see it. And this was like, uh, when I figured this out, it was super annoying <laughs> and frustrating. And uh, yeah, you can't see it because it's just, it's just um, a way of actually how you store the data. You can say, okay, I'm, I'm, cr I'm creating my time. I'm creating this here as um, with this, with the C at the end. This is UTC, or I say here um, plus two, and then the system knows this is a plus two time. Right. So that was super annoying. And once I, f once I cha just changed this part here, from here to here, then that was it. It was working fine. And what was the problem with this? I didn't read the API good enough. The a because the API says here, it returns not in UTC, it returns on local time. So then when you write it, you need to make sure that the timestamp, which is the leading index in your time series database, is actually in the right um, time zone. So that's it. Simple, right? It was just, I messed up the time zones and that's uh, annoying. So I ho hope you learned something. I hope you can use that. Actually, um, time series database are really cool. I've worked for years with these things, but the tricky part is the time zones can be super annoying. So see you later.